and together, Aaron the Black Dragons are back. And I welcome all of you to another part of Shantae Half Genie Hero. So, in the last episode, we got some race tickets for Ruddy Tops right here. Hey girl, how you doing? And in this episode, we're gonna take the dark shot that we got from Roddy and bring it to our uncle. But we also have a lot of gems. And I'm interested in just going over here and maybe buy either whipping speed up or damage up. I like, so I like the speed, so let's do that. Ooh, that's some, that's some, oh sorry, that's some beautiful speed that we have right there. Also, let's just quickly jump into, uh, and we're fully healed up. Because that's what the bathhouse is good for. So let's talk to our uncle and see what we can do next. Uncle, here we are. You're back so soon. And with the dunk shot, no less. You're not still bird, are you? Nope, here. That shot goes on top, see? Just like that. Two more components and our verse will be over. Uh, what now? Who's this guy? Can I... Can you keep a secret? No... A heist? working on their vehicles so they never saw me, but I heard the whole thing. It's going to happen at Cap Crustacean during this today's big race. If they find out who squealed, I'm a dead man. I was never here. Cap Crustacean. That's where the annual Magic Carpet races are held. An act of foul play could put hundreds of innocent spectators at risk. Here, a map to Cape Crustacean. Thanks, Uncle. Good luck with a machine. I'm off to the races. Let's do that! That's our mission for today. So let's quickly run over to Sky and... Sky! Sky, I need to get to Cap Crest Station quickly. The magic carpet races? What for? I'll explain on the way. Are you ready to lift off? Okay, climb aboard. And a new place has revealed itself, Ca Cape Crustacean. Let's jump in there and save the people from a heist. Yes. Would somebody please tell me what this is all about? And what's she doing here? Hey, be grateful she shared her tickets with us. Now, listen up, you guys. The mystery man back in Scuttletown believes there'll be a large-scale heist during today's big race. Someone's after the magic carpets, and everyone's a suspect. I'm going undercover, posing as one of the pilots. Sky and Bono, you two will watch me from the stands. And Roddy Tops, I'm working with the pit crew. Check this out, I'm a zombie pit girl. I'm sure the fans will eat it up. Not if she eats them up first. Shush, you two. Sounds like you're on deck. Let's do it! Good luck, everyone! And off to the big race we are! And the speed! Hello there! So, what we have to do here is we jump from platform to platform. Our transformation as a bat will help us a good bit. And all the different uh, forms of carpets that we will see have different properties. And they behave a little bit differently, like the red ones here will go down once we landed on them. Makes it extremely difficult. We also can take out the pilots just for some extra cash, which, I mean, is mean, but I like cash, so I'm okay with it. Let's do that. Don't need to take that one balloon. This is one of the places that I do not really like at the moment, because it's a convoluted place and if you're not careful you'll be taken down rather quickly. But luckily they do not hide a lot of stuff on those hot air balloons. So take you out, thanks for your chance. And 
There we go. More pilots to take out. Let's just do this with you. As you can see, the bat really is making this a heck of a lot easier. I'm not gonna, however, 100% fly through everything as the bat because I'm gonna take them out. Gems. And final jump. Well, we did it. Here come another flying carpet vinegar. Get ready to nab it, Twitch. Twitch? Vinegar? So you two are the thieves. Hey, we've got orders from up top. Yeah, surrender that magic carpet, girl. Forget it. Fine, have it your way. Twitch and vinegar. Aerial assault squad. So, what we need to do in this fight is just punch them a whole bunch. Good thing is... Seeing that I boosted up my speed, I have a lot of damage that I can put out there. That was dumb. Should have just should have just stayed still and taken it. There we go. Love the damage output that we have going on right there. You're a little bit easier to deal with because you just throw bombs and therefore I do not care about you. You're the frustrating one because you shoot your little pellets. But I have fireballs now that actually do penetrative damage if I saw that correctly. But you get Oh no they don't they don't do that. Well anyway. I need to hit you a little bit more, but you're always in dumb positions and your profile is so much smaller than from Vinegar. But I did it! That takes care of those two. Now to find out where they're taking those carpets. And here we are. Now we are on the airships. Ah, I forgot that you take more than one hit. So do not like them. Also what we always have to look out for are... I don't like that. Are those places because down there are doors. And in those doors there can be some things that we want to have potentially. But, as you can see, there's no way for me to get down there, so, just note that for later on. But now we know that there's something there. We need to wait for you to get in here, so they can take out everything. Yep, Long cannon, take you out, nobody needs you. Ooh, now they spin electricity, there we go. Don't know, don't know what happened there. Now they come out like snakes. Take it if you would just give me a lot of money as well on the way. There's a lot of you coming out there. Way more than I wanted you to come out there, so don't like that. Let's go down here and get that thing. What do we have in here? Ah yeah, we need to be... Well, we don't need to be a crab in here, but it helps because the crab shield actually protects us from the electricity so crap is super helpful when you want to get through those places and it's another gallery key yeah we're gathering up quite a bit of them still don't have all of them but we're gathering up a good bit of them so the crap wouldn't help us here because that laser electricity beam never shuts off take you out take that Ooh. Ducking down there. Come back up. And goodbye. Explode the guns with my hair. Because that's... That's how we roll. Okay, need to be careful because if we fall down at one point, then we have some problems. So, I'm a crab. Crab don't care. Crab don't care. And that's why I became the crab there. Not that like you need to be the crab in this situation, but it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Because those beams are instant KO. So, if you want to have an easier time, be a crab. And this jump, I remember, took me out a few times because the ships move around. But that doesn't make the jump extremely easy. Give me all the gems that you have. And let's see what we have in here. Ah yeah, this place. This is where you would learn about the ability of the crab's shell to sustain yourself through the electricity right there. 
because you need to be patient because there is no freaking other way to get through here. Why did I... Why did I just suddenly stop with my shield? I don't know what came up there. I don't know why I was so anxious to get myself killed. If I just wait, I should be good to get through this in one more go. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Good. And now we have another heart holder. Perfect. And boom. And let's just jump in there. Because it should... Yeah, put us to the door. Makes it a lot quicker. And I appreciate that a little bit more than... Douchebag. I appreciate being quickly through a part more than just not taking half a half a half damage. That's not so important to me. So, taking me out. You just have lots of gems for me, so I'm taking them from you. And yeah. And then we move on. So, this moves around there. Don't need to worry about anything. And down there is, as far as I recall, nothing. I'll need to wait for you to be like there. There we go. We're doing good so far. No problems anywhere around. Let's go inside. And there we are. We also saw this thing right there. Let's get it. And we can push you over and screws those enemies. So, no. <laughs> Crap doesn't do us any good in this situation. There's a lot of things right there that we have to deal with different forms of us. So things get more complicated and convoluted. Ooh, thanks for the roast. Will be helpful sometime in the future. So, nobody likes that. There's spikes, there's a place to go up. We don't have the ability to go up there, so there's just spikes. And the crab does not help us with those lasers because they are coming from both ends, so just dodge them. Be safe and not sorry. So, got you as well, and look through here. This place, uh, they are also instant KO, so if you get hit by them, you will be KO'd and transported back to the beginning. Just as a little heads up. But let's go down here. Can't do anything with those flowers. Interesting that there's a flower blooming in here to begin with. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm able to do anything in this place. We might be, we might not be. But we need to be a mermaid. So let's do that. And at least swim somewhere. Can't do anything with those things here. Did we see that? Yeah, I think in this place there's nothing I can do at the moment. Because I think becoming monkey doesn't do anything for us. So yeah. Nothing we can do in here at the moment. Which is a shame. But yeah. We know that it's here. So keep that in mind. We will come back for that. At least I want to. If you say you don't want to see that. Then I'm totally okay with me. Douchebag. Real douchebag. Real douchey douchebag. I can shoot you with fire, that way I don't have to get too close to you. And I take you out eventually. There you go. Shot even one more time just to show you that I'm the better shot right here. Okay, let's get through here before I'm getting too cocky and get hit by some of the lasers. Ow. Not good. Lasers. Jump through there. Okay, you are staying for an extended period of time. We're doing good so far. This is one of the places that always was a little bit more convoluted and I did not appreciate as much. Especially since some of the secrets in the stage are hidden. Good. And so many enemies, but so much roast. Can't say that I do not like all the amounts of roast that we get here because lots of healing items that way. He will fall on my head if I'm not careful. Okay. Took himself out there. Nope. The elephant's too big for that gap right there. But the monkey... Whoops. That's perfect. Okay. Oh no. That's that place. That's that place.
I do not like that place. And there's one thing that you need to get through there. And I will do it uh, properly this time. Because when I played through this my on my own, I did not get through this uh, part um, how they intended for you to get through it. Because I kind of cheesed it. But I had different forms to cheese it with. I did not want to fall into the spikes there. But whatever. But yeah, this place is... Yeah, not fun. And... It and uses one thing, one ability that you get, and this ability that you get for that place, not from that place, but just for that place, is only used at that place. Nowhere else, just for that. So, not the best used thing there. So let's become an elephant and punch those down. Okay, how about monkey that up? And... Punch. Okay, that should have done it. Perfect. So far we're doing good with everything that we want to find. Become monkey. Pull it over there. Pull it over there. And pull it over there. We're doing good so far. I like it when things work out so beautifully. And another heart holder. We got a lot of them. And I like it. Because it's always good to have a much help as we can have so let's come here up we go boom and down we go boom monkey ball ass whoops there we go easy easy getting of skills there uh not skills things whatever you know what i mean i guess at least ouch jump right into a blade not what we want to see poor monkey got cut up by saw blade Okay, well there's some magic carpets, let's jump out of here and take out that engine. Also we cannot go down in there, we cannot go back. Somehow, it just had to be you. Blast it all! That airship cost billions of crowdfunded dollars. For shame. You thought you could win the race by cheating. The race? Ah, I don't care about some stupid civilian air show. And I don't care about the prize money neither. Huh? I'm after global conquest. Air supremacy, babe. Armored ships are good and all. But I need airborne troops too. But being as how the magical silkworm is endangered and is also very cute, I'll just take the magic silk I need from those losers' carpets and use it to manufacture magic carpet uniforms for my man. Magic silkworms? You can't be serious. I'll demonstrate, man. Deploy the MCUs! Boosh! Let's show this hot little Tamala a nice tight formation! Ammo Baron, limited edition loud now. Well that sounds correct. So, we have to fight against the Ammo Baron. We haven't seen you the whole time, but good thing is that we have a lot of speed and a good amount of damage on our side to take you out. If we could just be a little bit lower to the ground, I would, yeah, I would be able to deal as much damage as I want. Okay. Oop. Dodging all your troops that try to fly in there. Because, whoa, buddy, you grazed my head there. Barely. Yep, just do that a little bit more often. Because I know that in a moment things will get ugly in here and I don't like it. Okay, we're doing good so far. Okay, now you will. Yep, there you go. And another row. There's so many of them now. And I do not like it. Okay. Just taking as much of them out there. In one fellow swoop as I can. 
Okay, I'm just standing as close to you as I can. There you go. I tanked a few hits there, but I don't care because that's the easiest way to take him out. In my opinion, at least. What went wrong? You did! You're grounded! All that work! I've been smoke! Serves you right, Ammo Baron. Hello, is this thing on? Ladies and gents, it looks like the Ammo Baron has trashed all of today's participants. All but this purple haired newcomer, that is. Judges? We have a winner! Well, in that case, let's jump onto my podest. Daughter of Genies, welcome to the Genie Realm. Take this transformation and enter the light. We'll do so. We got a new transformation. Let's see what it is. Ooh. You got the mouse dance. Use this power to enter tiny spaces. Well, we see there's now something glistening up here. So let's dance around and become a tiny mouse. And with that, we now have the ability to jump into those tiny spaces that we've seen somewhere before. If you recall. And a few spots to be precise. All clear. First place, huh? Sounds exciting. Let's see what you've won. A lifetime supply of Mermaid Falls famous... Can Master Chow. Uh, no. Especially now that I know what's in it. I'll take it! Gotta enjoy life while we still can, right? How's your machine coming along, Uncle? Almost done! I've got the power supply hooked up to the mag magnet is up the magnet is charged, and I can already see dark magic particles accumulating in it in the contaminated sphere. I guess that means it's time to look for a light shard. Think you're up to the task? We're soon to find out. I'll get wrench ready to fly. Good luck. And be careful. Well, I will be careful, Uncle, I promise that, but only in the next episode because now I'm gonna be reckless and end this episode right here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you in my next video. So bye!